Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to take the artwork that we made from our last video of creating randomly generated PFP artwork and how to actually make an ERC 721 NFT collection with it. Now, the cool part of this is I'm going to show you how to create this NFT collection with no code. I'm also going to show you how to go ahead and create a minting website for it so that you can start selling these NFTs immediately after creating the collection. Now, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's jump on the computer. Let me show you a web application that's going to make this super easy to do. So right over here on my computer, we are going to head over to mintplex.xyz. The mintplex is basically a web application that allows you to build NFTs with no code. It's super easy to do. And I'm going to show you folks how you can, again, create an NFT project very quickly. So once you connect your wallet, you're just going to go and head on over to your dashboard. Once on the dashboard, you're going to create a new project. Now, the cool thing is you can create different tokens or you can actually import a contract from another source if you created your contract somewhere else mintplex has a bunch of other cool tools that you can use but we're going to create an erc 721 now they do have different payment options you can pay up front 0.1 eth they'll take zero percent of the mint fee but if you decide to go the free route just know that mintplex is going to take five percent of the mint fee we're just going to go with the partner route here now it's going to go ahead and create a new project we're going to go ahead and open it up. It's really quick and easy to do. The first thing you need to do is fill out the contract information. You're going to select what network you want to build your NFT on. Mintplex supports a bunch of different ones. For this one, though, we're going to do it on Polygon. We're going to go ahead and name this one Cool Friends, which is what our little characters were called from our last video. We can go ahead and put a token symbol. This is what it's going to show up as the token on things like etherscan and what's going to show up on the blockchain we're just going to put c friends here you can add a description on what your project is about i'm just going to put test really quick you can also add in royalties what you want the royalties to show up as on your marketplaces now you can also add your website and twitter handle here this is just so that it can feed it to the marketplaces like OpenSea and add those things automatically i'm not going to fill those out right now but you can go ahead and do that for your project. Next thing we're gonna do is first make sure you save. Once that is saved, you're gonna head down to features. Minplex does allow you to remove the watermark from their contracts if you have their NFT, their flight pass NFT. If you don't have their NFT, you will have to, this won't be a toggle that you can change. And on the smart contract, you will have Minplex's watermark. So next we're gonna go over the setup features. Now you can open the minting at launch. I normally like to change this to off because I don't want people to be able to go ahead and start purchasing NFTs as soon as I release them. I wanna choose a date and time in which I wanna release them at. Maximum mints per transaction. We're gonna leave this at three so people can buy three at a time. They can't buy five or 10. Three is gonna be the maximum. We do have a token limit supply. Our example, we only had 50. And of course you can set the mint fee. Now, again, this fee is going to be set in the cryptocurrency of the blockchain that you choose. I'm going to make sure I, I'm going to, I'll just put this at one Matic because this is a polygon NFT. Now I'm going to go ahead and save. Now there's a bunch of other features that Minplex has. This video, I want to keep it simple and to the point on how to just create a ERC 721 NFT collection. I'll create a different video later on going over the different features of Minplex. But for this video, again, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. Next, we're going to go over to payouts. You can go ahead and add different payout addresses. By default, the wallet that you connected will of course have the payout for this. Payout settings is basically what we went over in the beginning teams and permission if you want to allow other people to make edits and everything to your nft project you can add their wallet addresses in there as well you can add a header mark if you choose to do so this will show up at the top part of your contract ipfs settings now this is where we're going to go ahead and add our generative artwork that we got from the last video now if you haven't checked out the last video yet you can click on one of these icons up here i'll link it down in the description down below as well but we use it web application called nft Enator to go ahead and generate one our artwork and two our metadata those are the two important things that we're going to need in order to import here and that's going to get us to the next step to generate our nfts but to set up and make sure that we can use our artwork and our metadata what we're going to do is we're going to use another web application called pinata so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on pinata cloud and we're going to begin with pinata now we're going to open up pinata in a separate window here I'm going to go ahead and log in really quick. And if you
you don't have an account with Pinata, you can sign up for it very, very easily. All I'm going to do here is press plus to upload. I'm uploading a folder because I'm going to upload all the artwork that we had. So I'm going to find my artwork here. I'm uploading the folder though, not the individual files. So I'm going to hit upload. We're going to hit yes. Okay. We can name this. I'm going to name it C friends test and I'm going to name it art and upload. So we're going to let that upload really quick onto Pinata and we're going to grab something called the CID, which is going to help our smart contract know where the images are stored. Once that is done, you can see right here we have our CID. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go back to Mintplex. We're going to go onto the next page. We are going to go ahead and paste our CID right there. Make sure we save. We're going to go onto the next page. We don't have a pre-reveal, although you can set up a pre-reveal here if you choose to do so. We're going to go onto the next one. We're going to upload our metadata here. We're going to find our metadata folder. We're going to open and command A to select all all the files we're gonna see here that we have uploaded 50 files and we're gonna download our new metadata this new updated metadata is going to basically have this new CID pointer put inside of it that way we can go ahead and reference the storage place that we stored all our images in. we're gonna download our new metadata we're gonna open that up then we're gonna go back to Pinata and we're gonna now upload the new metadata folder now again it's very important that you go ahead and upload the new metadata that you got from Mintplex's website if you upload the metadata that you got from NFT Nader, it's not going to show your image on your NFT because it doesn't have the correct reference point to the images that we just uploaded to Pinata. The new metadata that you download has that new CID in it. So again, it's very important that you upload the new metadata folder to Pinata. And once that is uploaded, go ahead. We're going to copy the CID of the metadata. We're going to proceed to the next one here. We're going to go ahead and paste that in and make sure you hit save. And we're going to proceed. What Mintplex is going to do for us is show us green check marks if everything is okay we should see our image down here show up of our first nft you can see right here it is loading sometimes this does take a while and once it loads you can see and double check and make sure that everything is okay now the next thing you want to do is right here go to generating your contract we're going to generate our contract here now once this contract generates you basically went ahead and created your smart contract for your nft the next couple steps we're going to show you how to deploy it and how to create a website to go ahead and mint these nfts from you can do this all within mintplex and again it's really easy to use there's no coding required for any of this all right there you go we have generated our smart contract for our nft let's go ahead and now deploy this to our testnet now we're going to deploy this to the mumbai testnet this is polygons testnet here so we're gonna have to first switch over to the test network we are now connected and we're going to go ahead and deploy and validate our contract so we're just going to agree to this metamask confirmation here you'll see that everything is going to go through it's going to make sure that it deploys our contract it's going to make sure that it verifies it and at the very end we should be set to go ahead and create our mint website all right once everything goes through you're going to see that the process has completed now there may be some times that it says it failed to verify your contract all you have to simply do is hit try again it takes a few seconds and then it normally goes through now once we deployed this now again this is deployed on the mumbai testnet or if you're using ethereum it's going to be on of course ethereum's testnets now this is testnet a lot of people will use testnets for testing things out so this is where you can test your website this is where you can test all your features and everything make sure that a mint will go through smoothly again testnet is for testing use it for testing once we go ahead and deploy it to testnet we can go ahead and we can go to our contract dashboard just to take a quick look at everything you can see here we have our contract address right now like we right now the minting status is turned off because we turned it off in the beginning once we're ready to deploy and have people mint we can go ahead and turn that on you have your mint fee your max mints per transaction again this stuff you can all change after the fact but you do want to make sure you have it correct in the beginning because it will cost you gas to change these once the contract is deployed now next what we're going to do is create a website for us to go ahead and mint these from so if you scroll down on the left toolbar here you can see you can create a custom mint site now mintplex gives you a one-click site that allows you to easily and quickly sell your nfts all you need to do is hit deploy now on their one-click site you can go ahead name it what you want add a description you can add your image here let's just grab one of our cool friend nfts we'll just grab 
grab this one with the pink shirt and sunglasses here. You can also upload your own fave icon that will show on the website itself. You can toggle if you want to show how much has been minted. It's up to you if you want to display the mint count. You can see whatever is showing up on the right side here is what's going to look like. Now the pro features, again, this is only if you hold Mintplex is NFT, their flight pass. You can add your own custom domain and you can also remove the branding down below of the website, which will show right here on the left. Now, once you are done with that, all you need to do is hit create a minting website. All right. now. Before we deploy the site, you can actually hit deploy here, but you also want to make sure that you are in the correct mint mode, right? If you are on testnet, you want to make sure you have testnet here. When you do switch to mainnet, you do want to switch it over to mainnet here as well. So just make sure you're in the right area before you do so and go ahead and hit deploy website. You can see that it might take about 10 minutes to fully deploy the website, but you can see Mintplex makes it very, very easy to go ahead and create one, your NFTs and two, a website that you can go ahead and sell these two people. You can see here that we did this in under half an hour. We already had the artwork and everything from our last video. And this is just to show you how easy and simple Mintplex makes creating NFT collections. Now let's jump back. I'll show you folks what the Mint website looks like and we'll continue on. All right, we are back and there you have it. Our cool friends nft mint website is up you can see mint is closed right now because we didn't toggle on the general mint status right over here you can see we have our title here it is on testnet which is letting us know right here on the top so again remember when you do switch this back on to go ahead and sell it on mainnet you want to make sure you switch the switch the website back to mainnet as well you can see right now zero out of 50 is minted but if we went over here let's go ahead let's turn on our status let's pay that gas to flip that switch we'll let the transaction go through and once it goes through we'll head back to our website let's refresh this page and there you have it we now have a connect the wallet option and we can select how much we want to go ahead and mint so let's go ahead and mint one if we hit mint it'll ask us to go it'll ask us to connect our wallet we'll go ahead and connect and you can see here we don't have enough matic inside of our wallet here so it won't let us mint it let me switch to one that does have enough matic i actually don't have a wallet that has enough matic so i'm gonna lower the mint price so we can go ahead and test out this mint really quick we're gonna change this to 0.0, .0 one matic let's save that we're gonna have to pay some gas to change it but that's okay we're gonna have to lower the price so we can actually afford to mint one of our nfts all right so we went ahead and dropped the price let's go back here let's refresh the page it now costs 0 0.01 matic let's connect our wallet back and let's go ahead and mint one of these nfts so you can see here now we can go ahead and mint because we have enough funds We'll go ahead and confirm that you can see here it is now minting it's going to take a moment for it to mint off of our mint website here and once it does we should see the mint counter go up to one out of 50. you can view the transaction here but if we refresh the page you now see one out of 50 have been minted and there you go that's really simple how you can create an nft collection a mint website all within the Mintplex application. It's super easy to do and it requires no coding at all. I hope you folks enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see ya.